We're here at uh, Larry Cobb's Cobb's Carpet Supply. Larry's going to give us a tour of his best-selling Dynacam 534. 534. So, Larry, what's uh, what's the price on this unit? The price on this unit is uh, fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand. What what's it uh, come with? It comes with uh, it comes with an electric grill. It comes with a fourteen-inch Bentley wand. And it comes with 150 feet of vacuum hose and solution hose. And this tank on here is a combo. This is a combo tank. It's got uh, 100 gallons of recovery and 75 gallons of fresh water in the back. So you got this cutaway here. That's designed to work in like a standard that, that's Ford That's designed Econoline. to clear the gas filler neck on some of the new vans. So what won't this van fit, or this truck mount fit in? Well, we put it in every type of van. You know, some, some people in California put them in the back, but we like to put them in the side doors. It's not going to fit in a uh, transit, though, right? No, it's not going to fit in a transit. We we have we put this machine in a transit, a smaller one. It's, yeah, it's that's real small. This one will fit the transit, but that's about yeah. the biggest machine you really want to put in the transit. Yeah, and then it comes with this waste tank here, this blue one. Yeah, it comes with that round waste What's tank. What's with the rectangular tank there? It's just, it's, just a, it's just a larger tank, okay. an optional tank. So this uses a kind of a traditional water box design. It uses a traditional water box or the rear tank. You can run off either tank, selectable by the two. Oh, why would you do one over the other? Well, you use this one if you're hooking up normally to the customer's water supply. Okay. And you use this one if you get into an apartment or something where it's hard to hook up water. Okay. So you would just have to come back here and hit both of these? You, 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 change, you change those two if you want to change from the front tank to the rear tank. So no need to secure this? I always kind of wondered about that. Well, it's got it's got it's some got little, rubber. It's got rubber in the corners. It's got rubber in the corners, but it doesn't. A big thick lip on there. It's not splashing out. No, it doesn't splash out. And then a check valveless fill. It's, oh. a, it's, it's a flow valve. Flow valve in here and a flow valve in there. So you supply a fill hose that has a, we, a checklist. We, we have a fill hose, which we're going to use in just a moment when we run it. What are we going to do? Wheel it outside? You're not going to run it in here, are you? I'm going to wheel oh, it back the there and run it. So what's this motor? I, I got a Kohler Command Pro, and it doesn't have like these big. Well, black, this this is a new? pretty unique motor. Yeah, this is this is a motor Kohler designed for the riding lawnmower industry, and what they wanted was reliability. So what Kohler did is they they made the engine bigger. This is basically a one liter engine, 999 cc. They've got an oil cooler built right in here that's cooled by the. The oh, fan okay. right in front of the machine. Yeah. Right yeah. They've got an oil oil filter. Easy that when access. When you loosen it up, it drains all the oil back in there. Oh, so it's not spewing out not all spewing over on like out. on the side mount one. They've got a filter, a big filter that's good for 200 hours, which is the biggest filter on any. Do you clean it or replace it at 200? Well, you replace it at 200 hours. At this, that's and then what's this? This is a permanent filter to stay. That gets in clean. There. That doesn't get clean. Huh. You did, this collects all the stuff. That's just a, like a secondary filter. Somebody took this one out. But if you go synthetic oil on this unit, you can go 200 hours before doing anything. 200 hours uh, interval okay. for maintenance, which is a nice feature. So how do I rinse out this waste tank after a real nasty job? Well, the easiest way, the easiest way to rinse it this tank would be take out your filter you're going to clean the filter and then you can just you can just spray it out that's the waste side this is your clean this side. is the waste side the waste side goes to right here and how many baffles you got in there uh, no baffles no baffles no baffles no. baffles cause corrosion on aluminum tanks why is that and what we have is we have two inch the reason they cause the corrosion is because all the sediment builds up against the baffles is your bottom sloped at all or it's anything for sloped. draining? It's no. not sloped, but we are coming out of the very bottom. What we have is we have two inch, two inch aluminum tubes both sideways and horizontal supporting the tank. So that gives us a rigid oh. tank. But so what I don't baffles. see any weld marks for those. Are they just press fitted? Well, they're welded on the bottom. The ones coming up are welded on the bottom. And then they're welded on the inside. They don't yeah. You can see one over here. Huh. It's got two. Pull this filter out. Maybe we can look yeah, in can, there. I can drop the camera in there. Well, it's pretty dark. <laughs> uh, it'll light up. Maybe. It'll, it'll show them. 
You can see one of the supports. That's kind of unique, huh? Did anybody else do a tank like this? Well, we put this filter above the tank to get full capacity of the tank. Okay. And then nice. yeah, can you can see right the there. filter. You yeah. can see one of the supports right Going there. in, going in. <laughs> I can't see any. <laughs> it's worth a try. Yeah. You need a flash probably for that one. Yeah. I know this one guy that's really into flashlights. Maybe he could help us out. Yeah, I, got some. I can't believe you don't have one on your belt. <laughs> I don't wear them. <laughs> So this this is your blower silencer. Yeah, that's, and that's it. That's, that's Just one. That's all stainless. Yeah, this is this is all stainless. This yeah. is high temperature silicone rubber there. All stainless silencer, and then that goes directly into our heat exchanger. We get some muffling from this silencer and then the rest heat from our heat okay. exchanger. And we'll start it up. You can okay. see. You can see the. Uh, and this is your. Uh, that's a pressure. That's a pressure uh, relief valve for the heat exchanger. Okay. Heat exchanger is all stainless. And one one thing that's pretty unique about our machine is we have Teflon seals in our general pump. That's for dry running. That's for dry run. That'll run 30 minutes dry with 30. no problem. And after 30, it's well, after 30, that's all I. That's you all don't have saying. a you don't have a clutch on. This. We don't have a clutch. What we do is if we want if we want to run uh, flood work, we just circulate cold water. We circulate cold water only in the pump. Why do you do that instead of a clutch? Well, because the problem is the heat exchanger. The heat exchanger is going to keep heating. Uh -huh. So what we do is we bypass the heat exchanger. We take this off and move it up. Take this off and move it up to here and eliminate the heat exchanger entirely when we're doing flood work. Okay. So then this heat exchanger is just like a muffler at that point. There's no water in it. And how effective is your... Uh your dampening system here. Well, it keeps it keeps the vibration of this plate from affecting any of the mounts on our on our system. Our our exhaust system is all stainless. We have a tubing that surrounds all of our exhaust system to give us better insulation, better heat. You got all this stainless on here. Why'd you go plastic from there? Well, this is the intake, and this is nylon. That's nylon. And then we got stainless anywhere that touches the blower or anywhere in the outlet side of the blower. The intake side of the blower, there's no heat involved there. No heat and very little moisture. Yeah. Is this well, adjustable at all, yeah, your vacuum relief? I said it. This machine said How do you adjust that? Doesn't look with a flathead well, or something? You take it off and it's got a hex on the inside. On the inside. And then you turn that. Did you say it's set at 17? 17. This blower is rated for 16 continuous. That's a four five. This is a four. Uh, this is a four MR. Four MR, which is the what? MR has the gear case removed from the blower housing. Okay. And, and that gives you better heat capability in here and less heat transferred to the gears. Hmm. So when they went to that, they went to 16 inches of lift on this one, or 17 inches intermittent. If you're running in an intermittent situation like carpet cleaning does, you can go yeah. 17 on this. And you got zerks here and here. Then we looked at this earlier. When this, when you zerk this, grease this, the grease actually comes out. Comes out of the very top. If you can see the small the top there. Very top. So that way you're, you know you're filling it. Right. Okay. So we're going to turn this on a little bit? Yeah, we're going to run it. All right. What's this right here? That's a oil pressure... Sensor in the front, get low oil pressure, it lights that red light. Uh -huh. And what's your loose wire here? Uh, that's not used, that's a, uh, that's, that's for a oil shut off, I think. Okay. What would you say, 1500 or 15,000? Right. 14. 14. Okay, so I, <laughs> at this point, uh, the sandwich shop over here...